go guys, nice little bit of breakfast at Two Flags on the A47 near Rutland. Not well worth a stop if you're ever out this way. Um, just by chance ran into a, a mate of mine, Brooke Craig. Um, yeah, nice to get a little bit of a catch up. He has the same bike as mine in blue, but he's done a lot more to it. And then a K-Tex suspension, Brembo, <coughs> master cylinder, uh, braided lines, ASV levers, and, uh, frame sliders, the lot. He's a uh, yeah, beautiful looking bike mate, that is. So uh, yeah, now we've got to find out where else we're going to go. Got a lot of road closures at the moment. We've got the tour of Cambridge uh, cycle race tour thing going on at the moment. Uh, so now, anyway, I've done a done a few more miles on on the new uh, Nitron shock, and yeah, very happy to report it's a massive improvement. The bike feels much more planted much more stable through the corners. It soaks up the bumps much nicer. So yeah well worth uh, well worth doing that was. So what have we what else have we got planned? What are we gonna do? I'm still thinking about getting a phone mount for the bike. But I just don't know whether I really want one. It's been useful to have the sat nav now and again. I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm quite used to not having it. So uh, I'll probably leave it alone for now. I don't know if uh, any of you have been watching the TT. That's been on this last, uh, last couple of weeks. The senior was yesterday. Don't know who won yet, I've not seen it. So that's the job for this afternoon. Okay. Yeah, it'd be nice. It's nice to get out of the bike. I've not been out on it for about three weeks. And so it's made a nice change today to get out, just uh, just for a few hours. <clears throat> I saw a post on Facebook the other day saying uh, how it, uh, getting out on the bike sort of really sort of clears your head. And uh, yeah, my God, it does. Yeah, I don't know whether whether you guys notice the same thing, but just for that just for that couple of hours, just for that few hours, it uh, it certainly does clear your head. Doesn't uh, doesn't take much really, and that because there's not much in my head that needs clearing. There's not much in my head anyway. But uh, yeah, it does. Uh, certainly seems to take the what get the rid of the worries. this bloke. It's half and half black and white golf. That must have been a, a decision made over beer. So what should we what should we do now? It's only ten o'clock. It's trouble when you don't really have a plan of where you want to go. It's something we were just uh, discussing over breakfast was uh, the amount of people that spend 
an awful lot of money on their bikes and then sell them. So, uh, yeah, so they'll buy the bike and then they'll put then they'll put levers, they'll put braided lines, they might put different pads, they might put uh, get it remapped, they might uh, put a screen on it or all of the above. Then do 500 miles and sell it. What are they thinking? What? But, uh, yeah, it's just, I don't know, I suppose each to their own, but I suppose for some people, part of the experience is uh, modifying the bike, making it their own. And then I suppose they get bored with it. Once they've done everything, they, they feel like they need to. I suppose then they get bored with it and move on to something else. Maybe that's the answer. I don't know. <clears throat> ah, excuse me. Um, so yeah, it just uh, just seems an odd, an odd way of sort of doing things, really. There was uh, another guy as well. A little, uh, I think it came up on Facebook maybe maybe last week, the week before. He's got a a brand new version of this, the 2021 version or 22 version of this. You know, with the one with the stacked square headlights. That's supposed to be a big improvement on this, anyway. In the fueling, it's got, it's got an up and down quick shifter and blipper. Um, yeah, and it, it's, uh, he's had it. He's done 300 miles on it. Decided that he doesn't like it, can't, doesn't gel with it, so he's selling it. Now, now, as I say, that's sort of each, each to his own, and you know, if he feels that he doesn't, he doesn't gel with it, then that, that's kind of up to him. But sorry, but after 300 miles, that's not even done. That's not even run in. That's not even done the first service. <clears throat> he just sort of feel that it's not giving it a chance. No, because these engines, once you've once that first service is done and you can open it up and let it scream, it's it's a proper good engine. And that, so I've, I've been so impressed with this with this bike. And uh, yeah, so just just after 300 miles, it just doesn't seem like that's given it a good go. <clears throat> so I can't really see me selling this for a long time unless I uh, unless I come into some some proper money and decide to get something much much better much better more expensive doesn't always mean better um, but yeah, it's a, for the money there definitely can't be much better, many much better road bikes than one of these. back again guys here we are just sort of coming back through some twisties out near St Ives this is all Cromwell country if you didn't know um, should have gone round there actually but there's a statue of Oliver Cromwell in St Ives there's a, a museum of Oliver Cromwell in Huntingdon and the house where he used to live is in Ely uh, if you fancy looking up on uh, online something about Oliver Cromwell he tried to cancel Christmas he tried to actually um, ban Christmas he was um, a real like Puritan apparently and uh, 
Christmas went against what he believed. I uh, can't remember the exact dates, but he was, but in all but name, he was like King of England. He was like Lord Protector or something of, uh, of England. Um, as I say, I can't remember the dates, but uh, go and have a look. Yeah, so uh, anyway, we're uh, just sort of heading back home now. There's a lot of road closures today. There's a tour of Cambridge cycle race or something going on. And uh, so, we're, yeah, we're going to head back. We've got things to do this afternoon anyway, so I'm going to head home. Oh, look, crocheting. Oh, my, she's nice. Just sort of take you back this way, back through, uh, back through some twisties, so just before going home. Something I'm going to do is, when I do get home, or maybe before actually, if I pull up, is uh, adjust the height of the gear lever on this bike. I've got, I don't know if you remember from the last video, but I've got new boots on and I think the gear lever is a little bit too low. I'm having to sort of almost like reach underneath it. It's not sort of falling naturally. Yeah, that's a little job to do when I get home. Well, so I might even pull up in a minute and do, and do it on the roadside. Yes, so uh, that's it then guys, uh, look after yourselves, ride safe, and uh, I'll uh, see you on the next one, bye for now.